Want to automate door and window tasks in Revit? Here are some tips on how to quickly number door and windows and reduce the time producing their construction documentation. We will go through how to allocate the door and window numbers, and then how to classify the door swing direction. Let's walk through how to use the numbering tool. The door and window numbers are allocated based on the room they belong to. As we can see in this project floor plan, the rooms are already numbered so we are ready to start numbering the doors and windows. First we open the X door tool by clicking in the icon inside the Archie toolbar. And then select the tab numbering. As we number the door we will also save at the same time the associated room name, to a parameter of our choice, as additional information for a door schedule. And we will also automatically save the width of the wall hosting each door, so that the doors can be produced with the correct frame depth. The option to number the doors is already selected, so we can go ahead and assign the numbers to the doors by clicking on the button. The doors are now given a number that match the room they belong to. The schedules and tags in the plans are now showing the door numbers. Let's now number the windows. We can add optionally a prefix, a phase letter, and a suffix to the number. In this case we will be adding the letter W as a prefix to the windows number. All is set for numbering the windows, so we can click this button. Now the windows are correctly numbered according to the room they belong to. Even if your project has hundreds of windows it only takes a couple of seconds. Let's now walk through how to use the door swing direction tool. We start by selecting the swing direction tab. The single doors and double doors can be classified separately to document the production requirements. Single doors have a swing direction, while double doors have an active leaf. The active leaf of a double door is either on the left or on the right side. We need to specify in our project what are our double doors, by moving the double door families to the right side. It is important to remember that for consistent documentation all doors families must be created with the same direction. Going further with our classification, we can now either use the presets to load the standard codes for your country or type the values under each door symbol. We then define the text parameters where we want to store the classification for the single and double doors. And finally press the update button. The door swing direction is then updated for all the doors in the project. And the door schedule is now complete with the information that we retrieve automatically. After you mirror doors in the project, just rerun the tool to get the values updated in your schedules. Now that you know a little about door and window automation tasks, you can discover even more ways of using XDoor. For more helpful tips like this, subscribe to the Archie support channel, or click a video to keep on watching now.